Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in front of us today, we have yet another package from Casetify, which they went ahead and sent over for the iPhone 15 Pro. And they also did go ahead and provide me with a discount code, which is up to 15% off if you do use code 15 Technotalks, which should be up on the screen, or you can go ahead and click the link in the description. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Opening this case up, inside we do have the Casetify Impact HD screen protector, and we also do get three of their impact camera ring cases, which they have recently released. So before we take a look at the impact ring stand cases, let's actually go ahead and quickly apply the impact HD screen protector on the iPhone 15 Pro. And then we'll go ahead and apply these cases and see how well they work the fit and feel and how well they function. So without further ado, let's go ahead and begin. Taking a look at the screen protector, we can see that it is 9H strengthened, scratch resistance, HD maximum HD clarity, high flexibility, and we also do get the applicator included. On the back, we don't really get much else. We do have the protection with personality, and we also have their stand right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and quickly go through this. I'll go ahead and speed up most of the parts as I know a lot of people know how to place a screen protector on their phone. Opening up the box for the first time, we do get a nice little installation guide on the left side. So we do have all the steps and they are very easy to use. And then on the inside, we also do get our applicator and the things we need to apply the screen protector. So let me go ahead and get all this set up. So the installation process is fairly simple. All we have to do is go ahead and wipe our phone down first using the wet wipe. So let's go ahead and wipe it down real quick. Lift it up, go ahead and get the screen wiped down. I do have a lot of scratches on my screen. Uh, I did use it for a little while without a screen protector and a case. So I did get those scratches, but it should be all fine. I am now placing a screen protector on here, so it should pr protect it from cracking further on. So we are gonna be using the dry wipe after we use the wet wipe. This is to dry it up as the name suggests. Again, opening this wipe up and go ahead and wipe it down completely so it's all dry. Go ahead and use the microfiber cloth. Boom, so again, very nice and easy to do. And then last but not least, if you have any dust particles, you can go ahead and use this de-dusting sticker, which you open up and then lift up your phone and just place it where you might see some dust. So once we do go ahead and get all the dust off, all we have to do is just place our phone down, go ahead and get our screen protector, place it on top like so and then go ahead and push it down make sure everything's clipped in and just pull this tab so pull the number one tab boom once you pull that tab go ahead and press down for a couple of seconds it says five seconds once you do press down go ahead and push all the way through from all the edges and it should be it so all we have to do just push down once more and take it off. So let's gonna see how well we've put it on. Boom, here is our screen protector and voila. So here is the screen protector. We do have a lot of dust particles which I will go ahead and wipe down real quick. So let me go ahead and get that wiped down. All right, so we now have the screen protector on. It was a very nice and simple process. I just had to wipe it down a couple more times to get all the bubbles out. But other than that, it is looking real nice. So it is edge to edge and it does give you that nice protection all around the display. And again, a very nice and easy install. So now let's go ahead and move on to the impact ring stand case. So Casetify did go ahead and send over three designs. They are all from the same series. Again, they are from the impact ring case series. And so they all do have the same functionality, which I will go ahead and show you. But I would like to go ahead and start off with the clear case, and then we'll just go ahead and take a look at the other cases. Before placing the phone inside, let's go ahead and take a look at the EcoShock layer that we have inside of all these cases. So this is basically Casetify's layering for that extra shock absorption. Apparently it is a lot better than most other competitors. And so far with my Casetify cases and my phones being inside of Casetify cases, I've never really had any issues with that. So drop protection wise, I do trust Casetify on that as I personally use their cases as well. And so far I've had no issues with drops. Also with their clear cases, I have noticed that they do last a lot longer compared to some other brands. So without further ado, let's go ahead and place your phone inside. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is just push down from one edge and then just push it all around. And we do get this nice tight fit, which fits perfectly. And then we also do have their screen protector on top, which again, fits perfectly with this case. So taking a look at the back, again, this is a clear case. We do have MagSafe 
functionality. You can add MagSafe or choose to have MagSafe with any of their cases, choose to have any design with their cases, which is just super nice and customizable. Classic branding right here, Casetify. It is on all of their camera lenses. It doesn't matter which case type it is, they all do have it. We do again have a very nice and large lip. Unfortunately, that may lead to some rocking, which you can see right now, the left side does seem to rock a lot. But again, this isn't just there for no reason. Other than protection, it'll actually give you some functionality. So with their impact ring stand cases, we do get this impact ring, which actually turns into a stand. It is magnetic. So it does plop back on and it is very sturdy. So this will actually last you a long time. So with this, you can do many things like standing up your phone. This gives you the functionality of watching movies or watching a YouTube video while you're eating some cereal or eating some food, which is super nice to have. I really love when case brands incorporate a case stand or a kickstand without actually messing with any of the design of the case. You can also use this to actually just hold your phone. You can take selfies with it using a front uh, rear facing camera, which will just make it a lot higher quality. So you can use this for many different things. Again, this is the key feature of the impact ring stand case. And again, it's something that I really do love. Just like I said, when case brands incorporate a feature into the case without ruining the looks. So moving on to the front of this case, again, we do have a very nice and large lip that covers the whole display, even though we have a screen protector on here. So if you do drop it, on its face, it should be fine in most circumstances. Taking a look at the side, we can see that this case is made from recycled phone cases, which is good to know. We do have two little holes for a lanyard if you do use one. And then on the left side, we also do have our cutout for our mute switch and our volume rocker. Up top, we don't have anything other than the eco shock layer, which you can see. And then we also do have some dust particles inside of the case, which just add to the design, which looks really nice. And we also do have our cutouts on the inside for the bottom of these speaker grills. So up top, we also do have a nice little cutout for our front fairing speaker grill. So we're not going to be losing out on any sound quality. Again, very nice case, which will go ahead and do the job of protecting the bone. So previously I've used another clear case from case Defy. It's basically like this, except it doesn't have the kickstand functionality. And again, it's done a perfect job protecting my 14 pro, which was the phone I used that case with. And I'm thinking that this is going to be the go-to case for this phone. So let's go ahead and test out our MagSafe functionality. So I do have a case to five power bank right here. And if we do plop it on, the fit is nice and it does feel very sturdy and they should begin to charge. And while, well, as you can see, our phone is being charged. If we do go to test the strength of the magnets, they are both case to five products. Let's go ahead and do a nice little shake test. And as you can see, it does work nice and perfect. So another feature that we can have with this kickstand is going to be standby mode. I can't really show you since I don't have a cable right now, but if you do go to start charging this and you do place it in landscape, it should move into standby mode if my phone does do it. But again, you can do that with the kickstand as well when you are charging your phone. Unfortunately, I do only have a power bank on me, so I won't be able to plug in it. So this is going to be the impact ring stand case. It's a really nice case. Again, it doesn't change much of the looks for the case by adding this functionality, which is something that is super nice. So now that we've checked this case out pretty briefly, let's go ahead and take a look at the different designs. Again, as I said, since case by cases are very customizable, we can have all these different designs. They do all give the same functionality. They all do have these kickstands on their camera lenses, and they also do have MagSafe compatibility with different designs. So if you do wanna go for a different look, if you don't want just a clear case, then you can go for separate designs. And these aren't the only ones. There's hundreds of different designs on their website. And again, if you do use the link in the description, you'll be able to get 15% off. So before ending this video off, let's go ahead and do the most important test, and that's gonna be the buttons test. So last but not least, starting off the power button, in three, two, one. Very nice and clicky. And then finally, let's go ahead and take a look at the volume marker and mute switch. Again, very nice and easy to click. So this case definitely passes my test and it's something that I would definitely recommend to you guys out there. So that'll basically wrap it up for this video. As always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see y'all in the next one.